So in this part 44, we are going to actually uh, display the data in a React application exactly uh, about the same way we have it right here in TimeLib. And we are going to do the same thing the same thing in React. Currently, in the previous tutorial, we are able to fetch data and we can see this data displayed right here in the console, but we now want to display in the web page, okay? All right, so let's go do this right now and keep in mind that we are now in part 43 and so let's continue. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to install Bootstrap. So let me uh, come back to our application. So the first thing we want to do is to install Bootstrap. So I'm going to open, maybe I'm going to close this and I'm going to open another tab. So to install Bootstrap, you are going to run the command npm install react bootstrap react bootstrap bootstrap minus minus save i think i did install it so maybe uh it's, it's going to uh just reinstall but if you are just doing it for the first time that is fine okay so i have bootstrap installed now and I'm going to go to the parent uh, application, I, I mean the parent component, which is the app.js, and then import bootstrap in app.js. Once we import bootstrap in app.js, it's going to trickle down to the child component. For instance, this is a child component. Again, if you look at this black space, we are going to remove it. So let me remove the black space first. Let me clean up this. And this black space, I think, is coming from this header. So let's just take out this header completely. And if I save everything now, command S to save, we are going to see that we just have an empty space here. All right, so this is where we are. And now let's kind of do a bit of cleanup. So I'm going to go to uh, first, okay, yeah. So here we are going to import bootstrap here. So I'm going to say import and bootstrap should be in bootstrap slash this slash css slash bootstrap main dot css bootstrap bootstrap uh mean the css i think that should be it bootstrap dot main the css okay great so we have bootstrap now so I'd like us to add maybe some kind of header so that this kind of makes some sense. So I'm going to go to Bootstrap website and um, see if I can find header. So I'm going to say Bootstrap template or Bootstrap template. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to go to this example Bootstrap and I'm going to just look for one simple one so that I can just take the header. So this starter template is okay. So I'm going to maybe uh, view the page source and I'm simply going to copy the name, which is, that should be this one. And I'm going to use it in our application. So I'm going here and um, actually it doesn't, one second. So this is name. okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to the app component. This is our app component, and I'm going to simply add it right here. So let me see. Um, so this form, I can actually just take out this form from here. Okay. So I've added a header. So basically, I can just collapse it. So this is what we added. This, and then the table is going to just be under the name bar, right? So maybe I can just add something like a HR here. Okay. I think it's going to work. Uh, why is it not? Okay. Maybe I'm just going to take it out. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. So if I save everything and we go back to the page, let's see how it appears. And with the name bar is just okay, as you can see right here. Um, so if you want, you can actually change it BG to BG, whatever, BG size if you want something that looks a bit green it's gonna also be fine and I like saying this is going to be I'm going to give a caption here fleet msv2 react UI I'm gonna just say fleet ms react UI 
Okay, so this is where we are now. Now we want to display the table on that displays, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the markup for the table. This is where we are going to add the markup for the table right here, okay? So how about saying table slash table and this is table slash table and that is fine and normally we should have t head and t body t head uh, sorry this is not right so we have t head and we should have t body right t body as well okay great so we now have t head and t body and now we are going to add inside the head we should have two items or more it should be it should be more so here we should have TR and let's just have one more TR here TR as well so is this going to be description and this this one is going to be the ID okay okay so this is a header for now so in the body now we need to do a bit of work so it's not as easy as an angular just a copy table markup we are going to actually take the countries and use a map function to loop through the country and for each of the items in the country list we are going to return a complete row of different columns but before we do that i'm going to in this component lead mount this response value this response that is coming back you mean this response here instead of only logging into the console i'm going to also assign it to the states so i'm going to say this dot set state i'm going to now say countries is going to be response so i'm assigning the country to the state so i'm able to use it here in the render function okay so in t body now this is where we are going to do a bit of work so we're first going to have this open and close because we are going to be evaluating the values coming back so i'm going to say countries dot map so in this countries of map, I'm now going to provide a function that returns a HTML for one single row. So for each map item, we have one single row. And once it maps through all of them, it's going to add all the rows to the table. So maybe I'm going to try to use a, an arrow function here. So I'm going to say country. So for one country, I is going to be an arrow function like this. Okay, perfect. So what are we going to return? We are going to return we are going to return TD and we are going to return another TD. Yeah, so actually we are going to return a TR containing two TDs. So actually this is we are going to return one row. For each country we should have one row. So this is going to be one single row return so i'm going to have here i'm going to have slash tr okay so this is what we have at this point so so why is it complaining expression is not assignment okay so we are going to fix this so what we are going to now do uh we are going to um so we are going to add the country.id here so i'm going to say country.id and then the second one i'm going to add country.description sorry not you so it's going to be country.id country.description and that should be correct so why is it complaining um expression statement is not assignment of call second let me figure this out
Okay, so at this point we are going to refresh and let's see what we have. So I'm going to save everything now. I'm going back to the page and it doesn't display anything. So, um, okay, I think I know what the problem is. So in these countries here, we can see there's a typo here. So it's going to be countries. It should be equal to response dot data. Okay. So the data is available uh, in the response object. So if, if you actually look at this place, you can actually see that the data is available here. So the response actually contains a number of things, but what we need here is just the data. So if I come back here and save everything, so I'm going to save all, and you can see that that error should go away and we should have some data. Okay, for some reason this is not working. So let me try to change this from, instead of using an arrow function, let me just use a normal function called. So I'm going to say function, and it's going to be country, and uh, let's see, so country decal base, I think this should be correct, okay. Yeah, function country, this should be correct. Okay, so actually, this, so this is going to be return. Okay. Okay, so this this should be it. So now I'm using, instead of using an arrow function, I'm using a return statement. So I'm going to save everything. And if we go back here, you can see that we have the ID and the description uh, right here. So, but we also have a problem here. We have tr slash tr. So, um, so this actually should be TD, T, it's going to be TD, and this is going to be TD, and inside here we're going to have TR. Okay, so we should remove this one and just close up this TR, TR here. So if I go back now, you can see that it displays, um, a little bit correctly but now we are going to kind of style the table so that it looks good and before I do that I'm going to go to the app.js and maybe just under the neighbor I could add a BR so um, so somewhere inside this div here I can actually just add a BR here okay so it complains, so I'm just going to remove it. So going back here, uh, let's see, so this is D, this is country, list of countries, add a BR here. Okay, good. Okay, so why do we have an error message here? So, so I'm going to remove this BR, it's complaining, and uh, just give me one second, let me fix this. Style is equal to 
margin say style is equal to margin tom um, margin top px okay, this should be fine so save everything and okay so this is a work as well So for some reason it's going behind so this is okay so i'm going to now add a styling to to this um to the table so i'm going to go back to the existing application fleet ms and copy this table style here which is uh, table style straight advanced table hover and i'm going to simply use it um here replace this command v and i'm going to save everything as well and going back here you can see the table displays now so at this point, I will allow you to spend some time to now correct the display yourself to display correctly. Um, so basically what you are going to do, so add a few more fields, add the description code, and then add a few more fields here as well. So this is where we end uh, our React, um, uh, attaching a React UI to our Fleet MS version 2, because this is not a React, uh, a React class. I'm just trying to show you just in case you want to go through uh, to the React uh, um, route, you can actually start doing React. I have all the materials specified in the description, all the tutorials I have created them. So you can actually start building a React UI if you want. And I'm going to stop here. So in the next part, we are now going to continue from where we stopped. We are going to be doing post messages and pop-up confirmations uh, recommended by Maurice Okor and ASQMA. So remember, I'm Kainson, the tech pro, and I'm always there for you.